Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric with One Number, and in today's short tutorial, uh, what I wanna cover is what should you do if Tableau Prep is running too slowly? So first of all, I wanna give a special shout out to Tableau Tim here on YouTube. Um, I learned from his channel a little while back that Tableau Prep was originally designed to be a web-based tool, not a desktop tool. The desktop tool actually was developed after the web-based tool. So what does that mean? That means it's gonna probably perform most optimally in the web-based environment. So if you're ever running into issues with the product being slow, whether that's just loading the product in general or working with data, my recommendation would be, if possible, try to do the same uh, you know, flow and steps that you are trying on desktop. Try it in online or server if you have that option. For instance, let's just try and start a Tableau Prep workbook, okay? So I'm gonna hit select, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, okay, we almost got to 16 before that workbook opened. I don't know if those are official seconds, but roughly. Now, let's try and start a new flow in the uh, online environment. So I'll hit new, flow. One, two, three, done. Okay, so 16 seconds versus three seconds right off the bat. And then if you're working with larger data sources, I've got a larger Tableau extract here. You know, one, two, three, actually connected pretty fast in Tableau Prep uh, on the desktop this time around. And let's try and connect to that same thing here on Tableau Server. All right, give this a one, two, three, four. Oh, that might have been just a tad slower. Uh, but I think that what you'll find in general is as you're doing cleaning steps, alterations, pivots, whatever it may be, um, that the web-based environment may provide a performance boost. So definitely check that out. Um, the vast majority of the tools in the interface are the same on the web as they are on desktop. So I hope this tip helps you, and I look forward to catching you on another tutorial here soon.